Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates in. Don't manifest the rest. So Pisces, looks like maybe an ex-lover we got coming around trying to say baby. And uh, yeah, watch your drinks. Because this person is, this person walked away from you. They walked away from their own happiness. Now they want to call a truce because they're disappointed in their choices and they're stuck. They feel like a fool. You know? Once, you, once you're stuck enough and enough you know swords in, in my back I'm, I'm not going to turn around and look the other way no more yeah they're in deep regret here Pisces whoever this knight of cups is like I said they're stuck for trying to interfere with your new beginning I wouldn't let this person back in your energy they they feel like a fool They had happiness in the most recent past. The Ten of Cups. The Nine, the Ten of Cups. And the uh, High Priestess here. They had, they had everything. And they regret something here. Ace of Cups in the immediate future. So Pisces. Your self-love is bringing in some kind of miracle here. Like I said, somebody wants to call a truce. Somebody wants to... Because of the way they acted, I feel like this person is in deep regret for something they did. Now, this could be somebody that you were in love with. And I do feel like they, they might be from a different background than you. And they're in love with you. They want to make things right. They want to fix it. Four of Swords. They want to fix it with the Queen of Cups because they stuck. Eight of Swords. They might be seeing a, a therapist there, Pisces. They might, they might be seeing somebody for the ailment. That's why they want to call a truce. They're in deep regret for coming up against you. Ace of Cups in the immediate future. I feel like you, you're finding some kind of new love here. And this Game Master, this hasty Knight of Swords, who worked with other people to interfere in your life, is now stuck. They might even be going to jail, Pisces. If you don't forgive them. They regret what they did now. Like I said, the fear here is the Eight of Swords. They think you're going to put them in jail. Because of something they did in the past. Like I said, I do feel like this person's of a different background than you are. I don't know what that means, but... They're seeing they're, they're they're seeing somebody they're seeing a shrink they're seeing they're seeing a therapist and I feel like this therapist is telling them that they have to they have to apologize they have to make up to you somehow some way that's why they're calling a truce otherwise they ain't, they ain't gonna get right yeah lovers final outcome Gemini energy. Um, you two are very different from each other. Got Sagittarius and Aries energy here. Earth Angel and the Fool. So, a leap of faith. Maybe you're taking a leap of faith on yourself from a balanced place, from a place of love. Don't regret what you've done in the past, Pisces. 
Just keep moving forward because you do have a, a brand new beginning here. Yeah. This swing. This could be, yeah. So this person regrets their choice in love. Virgo energy. The Queen of Wands. Somebody's very attracted to you though, Pisces. Be very aware of this person though because I feel like they are going to come in with all love bombing and sweet talking and they just they just want to swing. They shift swinging. Emperor in reverse. Somebody who failed to take the lead here and now is reaping what they've sown with possibly a queen of wands. Ooh, you got a stalker, Pisces. Be careful who you get yourself involved with in the immediate future. Because I feel like they have a stalker. They don't want anything to do with them. They've dropped them like a hot potato. But I feel like they're being stalked. Could be an Aries. It's Emperor in reverse. Yeah, somebody who, who looks at you like competition for this Knight of Cups. Somebody looks at you. <laughs> I've been through this before. No, no, no. We will not have nobody popping our tires on our car. We will not have nobody sneaking in, breaking into our eye. No, 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 no. Be very, very aware of this person because they are competing with you for this Knight of Cups, with the, even if you don't know it. You're about to get a message from this Knight of Cups, whoever they are, who's in deep regret for not seeing you for the happiness that you were. Yeah, they, 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 they stuck. They stuck like Chuck. In a very obsessive energy. This person could have some kind of addictions keeping them stuck. Player energy. Definitely. They could have a, a boom boom addiction, Pisces. They got the boom boom for you, that's for sure. They want to... This is not a group effort. Okay? This is someone who is obsessed with your energy, very attracted to you, and very stuck up in their head and can't get out of their head. They don't want to work anything out with their past person. They want to come towards you. But that past person, yeah, there's there's some there's some indications of mental illness there. Be very, very aware of that. Like I said, I've been through it. I don't want to play no more. Not with no comic energies that, that want to be following me around and stalking me because they're because their person don't want them you know I, I, I'm not I know I'd rather be by myself thank you very much and peaceful this person's found out the truth about you Pisces you may have even heard from them or they're trying to send you a message could be a Sagittarius this is somebody Capricorn Full moon's coming up on the 22nd. Be aware. This person is all stuck up in their head about you. They want to come towards you. Yeah, they're in deep regret. Deep sorrow and deep regret over the, over the choices that they made in love. Ace of Cups. They played the... Played the wrong game with the wrong one here. Leo energy. And then they're, they're no longer attracted to the person that they that they they dumped you for. Basically dumped you for. They no longer want anything to do with that person. Like I said, and it goes round and round and round. Leo energy again. Somebody's trying to have the strength to send you some kind of message. And I feel like it's a drunk text or a drunk email or something. It's like they're intoxicated. They are, like I said, I feel like there's the message. It keeps coming out. Because a lie is about to be exposed by this full moon. And I can't even make it up because the Seven of Swords is in reverse and the full moon coming up in Capricorn is on the 22nd. We are on the 13th right now. 
live stream three o'clock guys yeah somebody used them for money somebody was a gold digger yeah used them for a place to live used them for money and that is all going to be exposed Taurus energy Maybe this person painted you out to be like that. Didn't give you a chance. Just decided they was going to judge you. Maybe you're going to hear about it. They don't have to give you what they owe you. Leo energy, six of pentacles. Taurus, Leo energy. I feel like somebody's holding on to something that belongs to you, Pisces. And there's an investigation going on into this very selfish... I can't even... I feel like this person doesn't know how to love or they didn't know how to love and now they understand what they've done and they're trying to fix it they're trying to make it right so they may be looking into your finances they may be looking into your um, love life I feel like they are definitely looking for something on you Virgo energy. This person is very unbalanced emotionally. They don't they they ain't got it together here. They did they just gone through a very karmic cycle. <clears throat> and the divine has stepped in. Yeah, it has something to do with your work. They practice the magic on you and trying to not give you what's owed to you here. And I do feel like that's, that's what's coming in the immediate future. Hence why I started another channel. Because, you know, these people work behind the scenes. These immature people because they're trying to avoid a tower. And they don't want to work it out with you. I don't think you want to work it out with them either, Queen of Cups. Because you decided to go your own way. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. So, this was a group effort. Oh. So they could have found out that, that their person was attacking you behind the scenes at your work or something of that nature. And they regret offering the cup that they had to the wrong person. But the cold hard facts are coming out about this group and how they played in your energy like some kind of gatekeeper. Trying to manifest you're you're manifesting the truth here, I feel like. They're manifesting some comic energy in your life. It's to try to interfere with your work and get you stuck. So remember that. That this this person these people are obsessed. Obsessed with keeping you stuck in like a perpetual loop karmic loop look they're trying to keep you from your new beginning in finances and they're doing it on purpose could be shadow banning you I'm just saying you know I mean there's there's several of us on this platform that have to face that and understand that you know you're if you don't pay these people, your your videos won't get found. They won't get seen. So 
You know, it, it it's like that. Because they can play behind the scenes and you don't have any idea if you don't know how to do it yourself. Hence, it's probably a good time to get an education. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying, but I'm, I'm not quite understanding it. Um... I may have to hire somebody else to do it, but I don't trust these people anymore. You know, they they did me dirty. So, you have to be real aware of who's playing behind the scenes. They're very immature. They're, they they, they want to they wanna stop you from your destiny, Pisces. They want you stuck up in your head and obsessed with why things are going wrong. Five of Cups, sad, depressed, lonely, worried. Understand that that Five of Cups, there's still two cups standing and there's still hope. So just keep going, Pisces. Just keep going. You got the Knight of Cups coming in, Knight of Pentacles, and the Sun. Keep going, Pisces. There's a solid offer coming towards you in love and in friendship. I feel like you got a new beginning here, despite anybody's best efforts to take that away from you. Stand in your power in the world. Like there's the Two of Cups. I knew it. I feel it. I feel something new is coming in for you. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is trying to stop it, doing their best to stop this solid offer from coming your way, trying to make you juggle your pentacles. All of that is going to come out in the open. You're going to leave, going to be able to leave the past behind. That everything has been hidden from you, Pisces. You're going to be able to leave it behind and move to calmer waters. Absolutely, because justice is mine, saith the Lord. Justice will be had, despite what it looks like on the surface right now. If it don't look like, if it don't look like it's good right now. I do feel like it's going to be. You have to hang on, hang in there. You have to be stronger than these people. Somehow, some way. Because there are beautiful things coming towards you. And somebody knows it. So I feel like somebody's getting readings on you, Pisces. Somebody's getting readings and, 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 they're, and they're trying to keep you and this other person apart. At any and all costs. Wow, that candle's losing its mind. They're trying to keep two people apart. They do not want you guys to come together. Gemini energy. Virgo energy, too. They want you stuck up in your head so you will deny any kind of love in your life. You've done something all on your own here, Pisces. Stick to your guns. Because I do feel like that's going to be what sets you free here. Whatever, whatever this betrayal is. It's from a third party. The truth is this third party has been trying to stop this from happening for a very long time. And they're obsessed with putting you in the Eight of Swords. They want you in the Eight of Swords. They want you to say, oh, what's wrong with me? What, what's the matter with me? Why can't I, why can't I move forward? Why can't, why can't I have, because of the competition here, Pisces. Because these people are talking nasty about you. Whether you talk nasty about them or not. I don't feel like you do. I, I feel like you just, you know, stay in your own lane here. And if they want to practice magic, let them go ahead. Because when it come, when it when it bounces back back at them, you just protect yourself. You just sage off. You do what what's necessary, and you stand on your your own two feet, no matter what. Because when this new love comes in, they're gonna see how you were betrayed, how you were hurt, just because you stood on your own and did everything by yourself. Some people will never learn. 
Let's get a message from each sign. Aries. I don't trust you. Really. Yeah, you're in reverse? Yeah. Taurus. Taurus. I feel like whoever this person is, they might be a Taurus. I don't need your approval. Don't care. Gemini. I never want to feel that way again. Neither. Cancer. I fantasize about you. Ooh la la. Leo. I've been struggling. Virgo. I don't know what to say. I love myself. I love myself. And I love myself. I love myself enough to walk away. Bye. Libra. 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 You're so easy to see through. Who's hiding? Scorpio. I scared myself that day. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I couldn't tell you face to face because I'm two faced. Capricorn. Capricorn. We do have Capricorn on board. Somebody who is like so focused on you that they're not living their own life, Pisces, is sad. I hope you're happy for me. My apps are freaking Luli. Aquarius. I pretend that you don't mean that much. <laughs> Ugh. Pisces dealing with another Pisces. I don't really know you. I don't know you either. And you to everyone else, you are not part of my plan. Bye, McFly. <laughs> All of you, Pisces. Got moving on, emotional loss, financial and material changes, patience, disruption, when isn't, when isn't there in Pisces life, fulfillment of wishes. So you're getting some kind of wish come true here because you held on to hope, Pisces. And your passion is being reignited so you can move on to calmer waters. Like I said, when I, when I got that card earlier, it was, it was like... Um, that's what I was feeling like. All this is going to come out in the wash in the immediate future. And because you loved yourself enough to let things go, to, to keep going no matter what, it will work out in your favor. Spiritual exploration, protection of the inner child. Romance, divine timing, open border, and initiate, in, initiation. Initiation. Intuition and a relationship. You can't stop God's plan. You're finding out how powerful you are. Chaos is growth and change is imminent. So this is happening whether anybody likes it or not. Okay, so faded written in the stars. And somebody's trying to block that. Okay, they're, they're trying to block fate, destiny. Whatever this is that, that's coming in for you, they can't. I feel like you're going to tell everybody, you're not part of my plan. Sorry. I, I, I got a plan. I got a five-year plan. and It doesn't include a gold digger. It doesn't include somebody who just wants to use me for money. 
Spirit's going to let you know, give, give you the heads up on whoever these people are. Because I feel like there's more than one. I feel like there there could be like three people involved here. And I feel like I feel like the, whoever this person is coming in to tell you they love you has an obsessed ex that might be popping your ties if you don't watch yourself. Okay, just, just be aware of that. Change is imminent in this situation. So we have family secrets coming out. Mature woman. Pathway. Somebody's concerned about their work. And Pisces, I understand. Because like I said, I got to worry about that too. That's why I started another channel. Because there's been too much done in the dark, in the background, that's keeping my videos from getting found. So, you are not the only one going through this. We all are. It's just all going to come out in it. You know, you loving yourself, you bossing up and sticking to your guns, and being in the Nine of Pentacles, your independent self is, is going to be what, what gets you through this. All right. Let's see what we got here. Magic and ritual and queen of heaven. It says effect, magic and ritual effect on the external world can be created through inner practice. Heart centered ritual. Ace of cups. Can support your inner path in the physical world. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice. As you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom, applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. And Queen of Heaven, the Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now as a man or woman. You have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. Mm, what a, you know, I mean, you can, cannot, maybe, uh, get involved in whatever this is. I mean, like I said, everybody's going to be different. I do feel like there's a significant change taking place in your life in the immediate future. And you're not willing to settle for less than you want. You're not even, you don't even want to talk to anybody, Pisces. I feel like you don't want to talk to nobody. Soulmate in reverse. Breakup separation. Stop the pattern. You're breaking a cycle here, Pisces. Especially with the twin flamey thingy. But you're not finding balance. Have faith. Love is coming. Cupid's arrow has been shot. And you don't have to self-sabotage or rebuild. And you don't have to look at the past anymore. You can, you can move away from that. You can move on to calmer waters. And start enjoying your life. And loving yourself. Because whoever these people are, you know, they're, they, they've they been doing this for a long time. And I feel you. You know, I feel you tired. Got a, one more transformation to go through here, Pisces. An illumination of the transformation that is before you at this time. It is It is happening for you, not to you. Remember that. Let me read you this card. There it is. It's a beautiful card. Monarch Dragon. <laughs> All right, so this says a new you is emerging. So this is a new glow up for you, Pisces. This is a new, whole new you. It says, let it all go. Fear, pain, doubt, anger, sorrow, and guilt. Transformation tells us you no longer need these experiences. They are in the past. They have completed their task and have no place in your future. By holding on to them, you only keep yourself trapped in an old patterns that no longer is of use or necessary to you 
A new you is emerging, maybe a quieter, more considered you, but certainly a more powerful you. Having lived through a great many things, now is the time for you to put that experience to good use. Follow your inner guidance and let your old habits and worries slip away. There will always be those who question what you do, but that is the journey. You are, you are on yours. Follow the steps laid out before you, trusting your own inner light as you move towards a fresh way of being you. The transformation can only can be on any level and can affect any and every part of your life. Enjoy it and look out for the signs and in particular symbols, dragons love symbols, as you are guided by the dragon of transformation to take your next steps. So listen to spirit because your next steps are, are, are being laid out for you like a path, like like follow the yellow brick road type thing. Just keep going in that direction and don't look back Pisces. Don't self-sabotage. Don't keep going over things that are, aren't any good for you because you've got new stuff coming in. Whether you want love or not, I, I mean, I don't feel like you do. I don't feel like you, I definitely don't feel like you want anybody from the past. So there are new, bigger and better things coming in for you, even if that is just your own self-love and your self-worth. All right? Well, those are your messages, my baby shocks. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.